Well, you guys asked for it, so I'm gonna do it. This is historically accurate loadouts in different Battlefield games again. I think this is part three or four, and a lot of you have specifically asked for the Arditi loadout. The Arditi. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. So I did a little bit of research and apparently the RDT is basically the Italian equivalent of the Stormtroopers, right? So they are the ones who go in first like a special unit and pretty much try to clear everybody out as I freaking miss every single shot that I take. So since we are part of the Italian army, we're gonna use the Kakarno rifle, which is, was uh, for a little while at least, I think a standard issue rifle and of course the Badeo which was their sidearm. Now, as you can also see, we are playing on Monte Grappa, which is also historically accurate, so that is really cool. Now, hopefully we can actually win this, because so far we are playing absolutely atrocious. Oh, he stole that from me. That was supposed to be my shot. Okay, let's move up, next sectors. Whoa, well, he died. Oh, there's the uh, sentry kit. I could take that, that's actually part of the uh, Arditi uh, story. No, oh, he took it, he took it. There he is. I'll just throw a gas grenade, maybe that will work. Hold up, there's a guy right there. Okay, we got him. Goodbye. I knew he was gonna do that. I knew he was gonna push me, and I just equipped the uh, bayonet, so that was perfect. Now, I also want to kill some people with the Badeo. It's not really my favorite revolver in this game, but it is pretty cool. Oh, somebody is right here. There we go, we got him. Look at how slow the reload is. Okay, this is where we want to be. That was kind of lucky. That wasn't luck, that was good aim. You know what? Let's use this. Yeah, there we go, we got one. Killed one with the Badeo. Okay, sector taken. Okay, we are in the belly of the beast. Look at that minimap. That is insane. Okay, here we go. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't. No, what the? How do Okay, so as you can see, we have the Automatico now. It's an Italian gun used by the Arditi back in the day, as far as I know. So it's still historically accurate. We just need to get some kills. We just need to take this objective. It's so difficult. Okay, we got one. We need to get in here. We need to get in here. Okay, we're in. We're in. Oh, we're gonna take it, finally. There we go. Come on. Surely we're gonna take it now. Objective captured. Holy crap. That's that was one of the hardest final objectives I've had in Battlefield 1. So, okay. So we did the historically accurate RDT loadout. Let's continue. Okay, next up, we are playing Battlefield 2042. And as you can see, we are playing with the Chris Vector. Now, I did a little bit of research again, and it turns out that pretty much only two countries are actively using the Chris Vector as part of the arsenal for either the police force or military force. And those countries are Indonesia and Thailand. Now, I actually wanted to go a step further and choose a specialist whose country of origin is you know, kind of close to either of those two countries, and it was either this guy reporting for duty or the wall hack lady, which I have right now. And I decided to go with her because she is specializing in close quarter com uh, combat, so I think she will be the best choice. Also, have as you can see some smoke grenades, which is actually pretty cool. Oh, hello. Now if we can go in here, okay, so we right now we are behind enemy line, which is good. We almost messed that one up. Let's actually get the drone magazine, that might be a little bit more beneficial to us, because our aim sucks in this game. Now we have one more objective to go, so let's go there. I didn't even know you could get under this bridge, that's actually kind of cool. Now the reason why I chose the wall hack lady is because she's obviously more focused on close quarter combat. Oh hello! No! Kill her! 
Uh, she's focused on close quarter combat, and obviously with the K30 or the Chris Vector, that's a must. This is only a close quarter weapon, so hopefully we can do something with her special abilities and the smoke grenades and stuff like that. We're gonna try our best. There we go. You see how many bullets it takes before you can kill somebody from range? Makes sense for this weapon, but still. Oh, hello. Didn't even see that one. Where are they? There they are. Okay, a couple more, a couple more. Okay, they're all right here. And of course I get... Look at where I get killed from. There we go. There's another one right there. Come on, kill! Kill him! Oh, it's impossible. Oh, we actually won, I think. Okay, that's a nice ending for Battlefield 2042. That was the either Thailand or Indonesian loadout with the K30. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's go to Battlefield 4. Next up, we have Battlefield 4, and I decided to play as an American Navy SEAL. So as you can see, we have the M4 carbine, and I did a little bit of research again, and apparently this is the main weapon. Ah, oh, kind of lucky to get that kill right there. There he is. I knew somebody was here. So yeah, the M4 carbine is apparently the main weapon of the Navy SEAL. Unfortunately, the M4 in this game, in Battlefield 4, is a burst fire only. So it's gonna suck a little bit, but we're gonna make it work. He's right there. Oh, I got him. Oh, I need to get used to the controls again. And the field of view, obviously. Oh, looks like the dam has been broken. You see that? That's pretty cool. That means that everything is going to be pretty much underwater now. There he is! I didn't see... Oh, no, no, don't die! Ah, I can't believe I got these guys! Holy crap, that was close! You know what? Let's grab this boat. Now that's a Navy SEAL killer if I've seen one. Let's try to capture this objective. Apparently there are a couple of people here, otherwise I would be in the... There we go, we got one. Like I said, I don't know, it feels weird coming back to this game after this while, but... Let's capture it, come on. What the hell were you doing there? Just, just standing there. I think he was already dead in his mind. Here's another one. And we killed him as well, nice. Really, really nice. I like that. Wait. Let's try to get him. Oh no, there are two of them. There are two of them. Hopefully we can get him with the M4. Come on. We could have got him with the pistol, but... I don't really... I don't get a clear line of sight. Now I have. And him too. Wow, that was a little bit clunky, but we got him. Okay, we need some ammo now. I think this was in was a support player. A there we go. Look, this is what I want. This is what I want. I'm giving myself ammo with somebody else's kit. Now that is a Navy SEAL. I'm sure they did that in real life as well. Look at that, like a real Navy SEAL. We go on the water inside these flooded buildings to get a better position. Oh, you got blasted in the face. Got one. Nope. Wait, maybe we can change kits. Okay, we're gonna change to this sniper rifle if you don't mind, because I do have a plan. Because I saw somebody all the way over there. Right there. There we go. You see? I mean, that's kind of Navy SEAL like, right? To uh, change kits on the fly and snipe somebody from far range. Now, maybe we can change it back. That would be even better. There we go. Look at that. We can change it back. How cool is that? Now we have full ammo again. I got you. I got you. There we go. I think that's the final kill of the game. A real Navy SEAL kill. You know, it involves water. So it's Navy SEAL in my opinion. There we go, guys. That was the American Navy SEAL. Now, let's finish it off with Battlefield 5. No, come on, please, come on, please, please, come on, oh, okay, what the, what the hell is going on?
I'll admit, I have no idea what's going on, but parachuting in like that is the perfect start of the Battlefield 5 uh, part of the video because we are role playing as part of the Luftwaffe. Because as far as I know, we're playing with the S2-200 and this is a German designed weapon. It's very confusing actually. It's a German designed weapon, but it was uh, made in Austria or something. Somebody let me know down in the comments, but basically it was a predecessor to the MG-34 and then it was used as part of an airplane uh, weaponry system or something like that. Regardless, I did two and two together and I decided, you know what, it's, a, it's an MG you're gonna use as part of the Germans. And I got the Walter PPK, which is a German weapon obviously, which helps. The S2-200 is a very strange gun because it's an MMG. Technically, meaning you can't aim down sight with it, but it functions like a uh, assault rifle. It's not really an assault rifle, obviously, but it's like it's it. Obviously, it has only a 30-round mag, so it's very different. But you can still do that if you use the bipod. So yeah, it's really good. But I'll be completely honest with you guys. I really just wanted to use this weapon since I haven't used it before. And, you know, I searched it up on Google what this gun actually means, so I kind of, you know, designed a, a uh, what's it called, a story around it. Because this gun, this is the first time I'm using this gun in a video of mine, especially in a uh, something 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 in different Battlefield games video. So it's a hip fire only or a bipod use only. You can only use the bipod, oh we can go through here, that kind of sucks. Use the bipod. Where are they? Where are they? I'm trying to look. I'm trying to look, but I can't see them. I got one, but there are more. I'm so glad we got the parachuting part of the video, because I wanted to play as kind of a Luftwaffe kind of German soldier that's bailing out of a plane and has this airplane gun, in a way. It doesn't make sense. I think it does. Oh, hello, guys. He's right there. Will he get destroyed? No. Well, yeah, he got destroyed, but not by the uh, Molotov. There's one right here. For a gun that's mostly used in hip fire, the hip fire is pretty garbage. But it is a fun gun to use. It is really fun. Oh, we got him in the last bullet. It looks like we have it locked in again. Can we get a couple of kills? Yes, we can. Can we get inbounds again, quickly? Ah! How did we not get inbounds? I'm, I was pretty sure that we were inbounds. There's one soldier here somewhere. And of course he kills me. Of course he kills me at the very end. But anyway, guys, that's about it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. was actually a lot of fun to make one of these, you know, historically accurate loadouts again. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe to the channel and drop a like. Let me know down in the comments. You can also join the Discord. Link for that is down below. And with that being said, I see you guys next time. We'll